Hey guys, welcome back to EMT Made Easy. I am making a quick video on ROS. Really simple, just what is it, when are you gonna see it, and stuff like that. All right, uh, somebody requested this video, so I'm gonna make it real quick. So when we're talking about ROSC, where we are talking about return of spontaneous circulation. And this is in regards to CPR. So if your patient goes into cardiac arrest, so it means the heart is no longer beating, your patient is in cardiac arrest, right? The heart's not, the, the electricity is it's all jacked up pretty much, to keep it simple. So you're doing CPR. So if you're doing CPR, that means the heart's not be beating or pumping, Therefore, blood is not circulating, so circulating throughout the body. So you have no heartbeat, right? No heartbeat at all. So after you've been doing CPR for a while, compressions, breathing, compressions, breathing, maybe you shock the guy a few times, uh, the patient gets a pulse back, all right? So when the patient gets a pulse back, that is referred to as ROSC, return of spontaneous circulation, because the heart, what, what's returning? The heartbeat is returning so we have the heartbeat back spontaneously after you did CPR and that's gonna provide circulation of the blood throughout the body so that's what this means ROSC and you'll get it after CPR has been successful and your patient gets a heartbeat back so return of a pulse so what do you want to do for this patient after they come back from an EMT point of view all you really can do honestly is provide O2 and just go fast get them to where they have to go so as far as oxygenation we want to monitor the o2 sat and keep it between 94 and 95 percent that's optimal for your patient do not jack them up to 100 percent because we're not sure how high we're going up above 100 if you get them there so 94 to 95 percent o2 sat that's pretty good or above 94 is what the literature says usually around 94 and or higher as far as ventilation you don't want to hyperventilate your patient. You want to control your bagging. And every county, the protocol is different. Make sure you actually just obey their protocols. But to keep it to keep it simple, that's really all Ross gets. As simple as that. That's you getting a heartbeat back. Blood is circulating through, through the body again after you've done CPR on your patient that was in cardiac arrest. If you want me to break down anything else as far as this goes, or you have a, a specific question about ROSC, just leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you ASAP. Take care, guys.